So in this example, we're going to convert. Um, if it's in exponential form, we'll convert it to log form. If it's in log form, we'll convert it to exponential form. And you've got to be able to do this as fast as you can write it. So I'll show you the thought process for converting between exponential and logarithmic form very quickly. And you don't, what, what you don't do is you don't go up here to the definition and you don't, you, uh, so let me rewrite it so it's more clear. So a to the y equals x is equivalent to y equals log base a of x. What you don't do is say, oh, this guy is like y, this guy is like a, this guy is like x. No, you, that's the slow way to do it. So what you need to know is the relationship between the exponent, the base of the exponent, and the other guy, what, what we're calling x here. When you switch it, what happens? When you switch from exponential form to logarithmic form, what goes by itself? What, whatever is in the exponent, that goes by itself, right? So don't think about calling the exponent y or anything else. Just put it by itself on one side of the equation. The base, okay, the base of the exponent becomes the subscript of the logarithm. So go log base, whatever, whatever this number is, log base, whatever this number is. And then the input in the log function is whatever's left by, uh, you know, what was by itself on the, uh, uh, in exponential form. That's how you remember it. You remember the relationships. Don't try to name stuff A, Y, and X. That will confuse you every time and make you really slow at doing this. So in part A, we have 3 to the 4th power equals X. We want to convert that to log form. So you guys tell me what goes by itself. The 4 and then the, the subscript on the, on the logarithm is base 3 and then the input of the logarithm is 81. It's that easy. I feel like I'm selling you math today. For only $19.99. If you want to, you can put in parentheses to remind yourself, this is not 3 to the 81 power on the right side. Log 3 is the name of the function. 81 is the input. 4 is the output. Okay. U to the V equals W is in exponential form. Can you convert that for me? V equals V goes by itself because it's the exponent. Log base U or log subscript u of w. w is the input. Again, if you want to, put in parentheses to remind yourself, log base u is just a function. The input is w. The output is v. Look, an exponent, which is v, is a logarithm, which is what we said originally, right? OK. Let's try it again. Part c, v to the x plus y is equal to u. What goes by itself? X plus Y is the exponent. It goes by itself. So X plus Y equals log base or log subscript V of U. That's it. What else? Oh, this is already in log form. Let's switch it to exponential form. So see if you can go backwards. What is, think about it this way, what is the base of the exponent? You have v equals log base 8 of w. The input is w, right? The input of the logarithm is w. What's, what's the base of the exponent going to be? It's going to be the subscript or base of the logarithm. So 8 to the, what's the exponent? v is the guy by itself, so 8 to the v equals. The only thing left is what's the input of the logarithm becomes the guy by itself on the right side or left side, depending on how you write it. It doesn't really matter which side it's on, as long as it's by itself. So a to the v equals w. Now there's another way to verify that you're right. You could just think about what it really means. The logarithmic form is, is simply looking at this exponential form statement from the exponent's perspective. So you could say it like this. v is the exponent on base 8 that produces w. v is the exponent, exponent is a logarithm, on base 8 that produces w. It's right. It's got to be right. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Why don't you guys uh, don't call out the answer? Everybody just try this one in their notes, and then and then we'll call on somebody. So convert log base ten of the quantity x plus b equals c. Convert that to exponential form. Uh, 
Okay, what do you what are you getting, anybody? Ten to the C equals X plus B. That's exactly right. Any questions on that? Would it matter if you wrote X plus B equals ten to the C? No, the equal sign's a two-way street. 